you will be listening to EAS News. Currently, it is about 53 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies, which seems like decent weather for Thanksgiving. Speaking of Thanksgiving, I hope everyone is having an awesome Thanksgiving day. Me and the boys are planning on having a Friendsgiving before spending time with our family. Wait, I just got news that people are beginning to go missing without any sort of trace. It is unknown what exactly is happening, but all residents are advised to stay indoors with all windows and doors locked. If you are traveling for Thanksgiving, either do so with caution or cancel your trip. Thanks for tuning in, and stay safe. Okay that's enough. Anyways, we just received an update about the situation with people going randomly missing. About a few minutes ago, authorities were investigating an abandoned area near Cleveland. When they were investigating, they found all of the bodies of the missing people piled on top of one another. Their bodies had a bunch of stab marks and a huge bite mark on their necks. What or who exactly caused this is currently unknown at this time. All residents are strongly advised to stay indoors and keep all windows and doors locked and tightly barricaded. If someone in your family goes missing, do not search for them. Thanks for listening, and please stay safe. Guys. This is absolutely insane. I mean, why does this have to happen on the holiday of joy? I know right? Like seriously, why can this happen any other day? Let's try not to think about this too much. Hopefully it'll stop soon. Oh. My. God. Guys, look outside. Oh. My. That has got to be the scariest shit I ever seen in my life. Well, you know what this calls for. The following message has been transmitted at the request of the Cleveland Police Department. Residents of Cleveland, shelter in place immediately. There have been many reports of dead bodies scattered all over the streets. Most of the bodies are people that have gone missing earlier today. All residents are strongly advised to shelter in place. To shelter in place, lock all doors and windows. Turn off all heating and air conditioning units. Close all fireplace dampers, and seal all cracks on windows and doors with tape or damp towels. Make sure to take supplies with you, such as food, water, clothing, medical supplies, phones, chargers, a first aid kit, and a battery-powered or hand-cranked radio with extra batteries. If someone in your family goes missing, it's not worth the search, as the family member will most likely be dead. Stay tuned to the station for more information about this unusual and dangerous situation.
following message has been transmitted at the request of the Cleveland Police Department. The Cleveland Police are looking for two children that have gone missing. The first child is Annabelle Johnson, a white female, age 8, standing at around 4 feet and 7 inches tall, weighing at 55 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing a black dress with a cat face on it, cyan, pants, and red dress shoes. The second child is Josiah Martinez, a black male, age 6, standing at around 4 feet and 2 inches tall, weighing at 46 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. He was last seen wearing a blue flannel shirt, black jeans, and red sneakers. If you see any of the children or have more information, contact your local police department. Stay tuned to this station for more information as it becomes available. The following message has been transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. It has been revealed that a group of men were responsible for the attacks that have been happening in Cleveland and surrounding areas. Also, the two children that have been abducted were found in the group's van 15 minutes after the last alert was broadcasted. They were returned safely to their homes. The identities of the men are unknown, but they are seen wearing all black clothing. All residents are advised to stay in your shelters as the men are dangerous and should not be approached. The following message has been transmitted at the request of Homeland Security. The men that were responsible for the attacks in Cleveland have a nuclear bomb and will detonate it if their demands are not met. All residents are strongly advised to find a shelter. If you don't have a shelter, evacuate immediately. Otherwise you're fucked. Make sure to find a shelter that will protect you from fallout. Fallout is a nuclear product. Prolonged exposure to fallout will result in certain sickness or death. If you have a gas mask, use it to protect yourself. Make sure to take the same supplies that you would take if you were sheltering in place. Stay tuned to this station for more information about this life-threatening situation. The following message has been transmitted at the request of the United States government. The fallout has cleared and the men that were a part of the attacks have been killed by the fallout. Everyone is safe to exit their shelters. However, there is massive damage to the city and surrounding areas. Your government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency. Normal programming may now resume regularly.